This is a double video day. How lucky are you guys? Uh, anyway, I'm doing this video because I got this from Keith Gleason, my mascots, and I'm really impressed with the package, everything that you get so far. I just took it out of the plastic and pulled it right here. This so far is all we have, but I wanted to do a quick video on this. Don't forget to back downcast volume three on Indiegogo right now. Uh, it, we're getting really, I think we need one backer to hit 500. Come on, one backer. Uh, anyway, I want to pull this out. Let's see what we get. He looks like he took a page uh, from my book. I wonder if we're getting these done by the same person. Hmm, I'll have to ask Keith. But he's got a pack of trading cards, nine complete uh, breakfast set. That's very cool. I don't know if I want to open this or not. I we'll, We will find out. So wax pack of trading cards, really cool, very retro. We have a bookmark. And, uh, you know, as I look through these, I think about a lot of the extras that uh, I'm providing. And you want to provide value without ha providing junk. I guess that's how I look at it. Look how cool this is. This is a collectible pin set. Altogether, great design too, man. He's got the background here, so it all uh, lines up. Are these, so these are pins. Yep, they're pinned in there. Very cool. Uh, he also taped off the back. This is always a consideration is how they may or may not damage other things that pins are being shipped with. So really cool stuff right there. But that's not all. This is a ton. This is uh, Mighty Mascots 3 stickers. Really, I'm really, really impressed with this. He's Not only are there stickers, but they're in a package. They're flat packed. Uh, I'm not sure where he got that done, but re really great presentation. Look at that. Impressive. Maybe he did this himself. I'm going to ask Keith about all this. Um, indie comic reviews, interview with indie creators. This looks just like an ad. This is a one-page comic uh, in Decay Disarray. Very cool. Very cool. Nice uh, touch there. And that's another thing, you know, you think about it. You could add things to the book but you or pages to a book, but you could also add these one-page comics. They're kind of fun to hang up. Fold-out poster. Also really cool stuff. The whole team there. Is this the one that Christian Rossi did? I don't see a signature. Oh, there, I recognize that one. Christian Rossi did that. Really cool. Now we're just getting into the books. So lots of extras. I think this might be the... This might so far take the cake for the most extras uh, that you get. So I have here the 100-page volume one. It's really thick, those Alterna Giants. These are... Looks like issues, what volume is this? This is one through four volume. I don't know what volume it is. <laughs> it's, it's not important. Okay, we have, uh, oh, they're signed. All the issues here, I'm gonna put those aside. Four, looks like, oh, the variant covers, I get it now. They're, these are through all three issue four, but they're variants. Totally cool, flip this around, see what else we have here. Five, five, five. I got all three variants and low volume six. All three covers. Very cool. So really nice package. I don't remember at what level I backed at, but um, I'm usually not dropping a hundred dollars <laughs> when I back a campaign. So uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what it was, but great job, Keith, on on getting this out there. It's great to see. Uh, some variant covers actually on these uh, less expensive newsprint editions. I wouldn't mind doing this more because I feel like the argument against too many variant covers is the fact that they're expensive and it forces you to buy a lot. But when you have variant covers and they're only $1.99, they're just really low cost. I don't know. It, it could be fun. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. For sure, let me know. And I'm going to enjoy all my new comic books. So thanks. See you later. Bye.